Hello there, Golden Block Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to import the textures from a um, SketchUp model into the Unreal Development Kit. I'm kind of presuming you've already watched the first video in this series, which you can find by clicking the annotation on your screen now. That's more than enough time to click the annotation. Go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Export, and then 3D Model. From here a dialog will appear, you know, just like normal, and then we're going to drop down, select FBX, and click Options. From here you don't want any of the geometry um, boxes ticked, but you do want the Export Texture Map box ticked, and you do want the Swap YZ Coordinates Y is Up box ticked. Velocity is now playing Rage. Right, and you need the model units as the units. So click OK, and then we're going to click Export and you'll get the ex FBX exportation results which is wh exactly what you wanted so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the folder that we exported it to and you should see an FBX file and a folder of the same name the folder contains your textures so what we're going to do is we are going to check the resolutions quickly yeah, okay. um, and we are going to um, bring up iFran view which is linked in the description it's a free bit of software it's quite nice to use it takes a lot of the pain away from resizing the textures for UDK so what we're going to do is we're going to go on iFran view we're going to go file batch conversion slash rename and we're going to select batch conversion we're going to ensure that TGA true vision targa is um the selected option and we are going to go to advanced Normally your dialog will look like this, but it didn't because I've been using it. And um, you're going to tick crop. And because these are quite small textures, it's going to be 256 by 256. And it's going to be resized to 256 by 256 also. So then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to um, find our directory where our textures are um, located. Go my documents. SketchUp test house, SketchUp test house. Select both and add. Uh, your two input files should go into the input files dialog box and you should be able to look at them quite nicely like I am now if you've got show preview image enabled of course. And then we're going to click use current look in directory and that will make it so it does go into the um, same directory as your previous two textures which are in JPEG format and therefore unimportable by UDK. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to casually click Start Batch and it will tell you that there's hopefully no errors and no warnings and then you can go Exit Batch and then you can go into the same directory with the files and you should have BrickAntique.tga and RoofingShinglesAsphalt.tga or whatever textures you used because you may not have used those two. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up UDK which I've already done and I've got a nice little room waiting and we're going to go view browser windows content browser and you'll be greeted with a screen like this well you won't you'll be greeted with a screen like this but for all intents and purposes we'll be greeted with a screen like this and then we're going to um, right click here and go import um, and then we are going to first import the house sketchup test house dot fbx and we're going to just put it into the same package that I'm using for my tutorials, call it, put it in the static mesh group and yep that's a fine name for it so click OK you'll get an error about FBX smoothing which you can just safely ignore as far as I can tell, just click OK and it goes in and you've now got a very checkerboardy house Hooray. right so what we're going to do now is you've got to right click on the grey space again select import, uh, go into the folder and select both these target files and push enter um, yes this is all very fine you just need to click create material and then OK to all import failed um, the brick failed what did the brick fail? The brick failed because it's a very terrible size for some reason. Must not have um, converted properly. I'm just going to assume that yours does. Uh, 
it was doing it to aspect ratio. Great. Um, 256 by 256. Save as. Test house, SketchUp test house. And then we're going to um, save. Yes, you want to replace the file because the other one was broken. Then we're going to bring up UDK again and we're going to import the brick. Create material, yes please, OK. And hooray, it has imported correctly this time. Just make sure that your aspect ratio is actually set to not maintain. Otherwise you may get that error. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to move the UVs a bit in the material editor because that makes them appear on the material which I quite like. Edit using material editor. Move the UV with control and click and then click the tick. And then you should have these two materials available. The two branded material of course. And what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on the static mesh and then we're going to select edit static mesh edit using static mesh editor and you'll be greeted with the checkerboard house again right and then we're going to scroll down your screen will look like this at first sorry yes your screen will look a bit like this and you're going to go to load info drop down zero drop down elements and you'll be greeted with some um, text your um, sub material data things and um, what we're going to do is we're going to select zero first. It seems to think there's three textures in here, but I'm fairly sure there isn't. Oh, well, we'll find out. Yes, this one doesn't actually seem to have any um, position on there, so we'll just use the shingles for this one. Which is odd, really. Oh, wait, no. We've got to select material. No, wait. That was where the brick was. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, and then we're going to select the um, shingles on one select the material where it says none and click the arrow and there we are we've got a shingly house and that is your house and you can now dr drag it into the um, Unreal Development Kit's main window and there you have it really you can spawn it you can spawn and look at your house look you made that well I made that but when you make it you'll have made that um, yeah, if you want to add collision modeling, the annotation to that video is on the screen again. And if you are having funny issues with the um with the model and the placing, you may want to go back and watch my other video. Um if the model doesn't appear for you at first, that may well be because you haven't saved the package file because that occasionally does happen and I wish you all a good day.